everybody, thanks for joining me today. I'm Jackie and I create mosaics using sea glass and this is the last video in an eight part series that I've been doing to complete a sea glass mosaic in this beautiful antique church window. So if you watched my previous seven videos, you would have seen what I did to complete each pane of glass. I did a video on each pane of glass to complete a sea glass mosaic in this window. If you missed those videos, you can click on the card up above. It will take you to video one, and then you can watch the entire series all the way through. I also put the, set, the eight videos on a playlist on my uh, YouTube channel, so you can check that out. So in this video, I'm going to do the very last section of glass, and then I'll do the big reveal and show you the entire window finished all together. I hope you find it really helpful and that it really encourages you to work big when it comes to working with art and doing art with your sea glass. So my last pane of glass in this eight pane church window, and it's not a very big pane of glass. It's only eight and a half inches wide and ten and a half inches tall, but because it tapers like this, there's not a whole lot of glass space to fill so it shouldn't take me too too long. So what I want to do in this pane of glass I had a couple of bottle bottoms I wanted to include. I have this really cool white one that is a half bottle bottom that I want to put right there against the side and then I've got this one that I just love. It's a blue cobalt blue from the bottom of a fairly small jar and I wanted to put that one right here just to kind of top the window off with a really cool piece of blue glass. The other thing that I wanted to do, I have a couple of stones here that I wanted to put in, or pebbles, rocks, that I thought I would put here just for something interesting in this white area. And the reason this is kind of interesting, I want to show you that these two rocks and this piece of milk glass here has some UV quality in it. So if I shut off my light and I shine my UV light, you can see that piece of milk glass shines really cool. And those two rocks have a bit of a pinkish hue to them. So it just adds a little bit of interest to the top of my window. So if you want to find out if you have any UV glass in your collection, just get one of these little black lights and shine it all over your sea glass. And if you have any UV glass in your collection, it'll shine up a bit with the black light on it. I have a link to that below in the description if you're interested. So the rest of this design for the top of this window is I have a brown stripe of sea glass here, a flowing line that I'm going to put here. I've got a green flowing line here, a green line here, and a green line here. So I'm going to do my lines first and then I'll fill in the rest of it with white. Because it's the top of the window, I want it to be primarily white. So it's really light and airy towards the top. So then what I'll do after I finish this window is I'm going to show you, I'll do a quick recap and show you all of the eight panes of glass, each one, and then I'll show you the entire window all finished. So if you've watched the other videos that I've done in this series, you'll notice that I've done a lesson every day. I call it the lesson of the day, where I've tried to focus on one thing that gives you a little bit of input on design ideas and what you can do to enhance your design, make it more interesting, or how to do particular techniques that might be helpful for you or that you might be interested in. So my lesson of the day for this pane of glass is that the sum of the whole, or the whole, is greater than the sum of the parts. Aristotle said that years ago, and I think that whole concept that the whole is greater than the sum of the parts is really why mosaics work. Because if you look at each individual piece of sea glass, you probably love all of your pieces of sea glass. They're all so interesting. But it's when you put them together in a mosaic, you can look at each one of those pieces of sea glass and say, yeah, I love that piece of sea glass. But when it's together in a mosaic, it's really spectacular. So to me, that's why mosaics really work. It's because the whole is greater than the sum of the parts. So I want you to look at each of my panes of glass and you realize that each of those panes of glass make the sea glass really come together to be greater than the sum of all the parts in that pane. 
and then each of the eight panes of glass really come together to be greater than the any one pane of glass by itself. So, lesson of the day, the whole is greater than the sum of the parts. So there you have it. I've finished all eight panes of glass and I'm just going to do a re quick recap. I'll show you a slideshow of all the eight panes finished and then I'll show you the entire piece. When you're looking at the panes of glass that I've already finished, if you think, oh, I'd really like to watch the video on that, I have all the videos on a playlist on my channel under Church Window. So you can just go to that playlist and watch them if you'd like. Mm -hmm. So here's my completed church window. When I stood it up and took a look at the whole thing together, I'm really pleased with what I see. I've achieved what I set out to achieve in the sense that I did an abstract design that's got a lot of interesting detail in it, but isn't anything in particular. And my whole uh, aim to start more dark towards the bottom and then get lighter as you go towards the top, I think I've achieved that fairly well. And it's got so much interesting detail in it. When you stand back and look at it, this is the overall effect that you get. But when you go in close, you can see all those interesting details that are in every pane of glass. So I'm quite pleased with the end result. And when I flip the window around and look at it from the back side, from a distance it looks really cool. You don't have all the close-up that you get from the front side in terms of having the sea glass right in front of you. But it's still, you can see the pattern on the reverse side. And I just wanted to zoom in here and show you that I put a label on it. It says, Hung in St. Mark's Church, 1879 to 2015 in Burton, PEI. It's good to label your windows if you know where they came from and what the history is on them. So that's the back side of my church window. Just gives you the mirror image of the front side. So when these windows were removed from the church in 2015, I was so lucky to acquire both of them. So now I've got sea glass mosaics finished in both. And when I stand the two of them together, I'm quite pleased with the two of them. The one on the left I call Tree of Life. So I've decided to call my abstract piece Tree of Life 2 because it does kind of make me think of a Tree of Life. It's just more of an abstracted version. And I'm quite pleased with the two of them showing together as two different versions of a tree of life.
So thanks very much for joining me for this video and maybe you've joined me for all eight videos and I hope you found it really interesting and you've learned quite a bit of the different lessons that I've shown you on each video and I hope that it's been very inspirational and helpful. So until next time, happy sea glass hunting! Thank you.